Good afternoon and welcome to Craggy Hole. Today I'll be looking at Ohm. As you can see the chart I made up a few years back is here, which has been photographed many times over the years by various scholars and tourists. And to explain briefly, it seems to have started as a sign language, perhaps. It is hard to tell, but it certainly can be used as a sign language. All you need is a straight line and you can put one finger here, two, three, four to five. That's the BLFSN. And then the other side now, you would have the next ACME, which is HDTCQ or K in this case. And then of course you have the diagonal figures, one, two, three, four, five, and the vowels A, O, U, E, I. Of course, it's a completely different order to our regular alphabet because it was invented before we really adopted the, the, the modern Latin alphabet. So how do you write it and how do you read it? I shall tell you. For example, now on my bone breaker, you can see now, I think just about, yes. So OM is most unusual. You don't read it from left to right ordinarily, unless you're doing it on a straight line. But uh, generally speaking, back then it was from the bottom up. You see, all the characters relate to different trees. So the way we read OM and write it is very much like climbing a tree. Start at the bottom and go up. In this case, you can see what I've written here. Asquelga is vrish nuknav, which means break the bones. It's like instructions for use and would have often be used in the early medieval period. So ordinarily it would be carved on a stone, uh, a standing stone for example now would be one method, and you would carve it up the side on the straight edge and if you hadn't finished, you'd come over the top and back around down towards the other side, providing you had a straight enough edge. Now, it didn't have to be perfect, just a bit of an edge now. But um, also it could be used on smaller OM stones now for burial purposes. Uh, sometimes small round ones like um, in North Kerry, now near Dingle, they have some fine examples of what are essentially gravestones. So graves or land demarcation. 